what our mission here at Reach Out Women's Center is to um, help women um, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And we do this by offering uh, limited pregnancy services, education, information, um, and resources, um, as well as services um, throughout the community as well. Yes, we do care about both mother and child. Um, you know, really we are um, a pro-life organization from start to finish. So really, um, whether or not we provide the resources, we'll find someone that does provide resources because I do feel too that there are a lot of resources that women are not they don't know about um, and that's really important to have you know organizations like this that can get, point them in the right direction and give them those uh, additional supports this is why we've invested so much in the medical suite and the clinic itself um, you know providing a place a safe place for women to come and talk about what's going on with their lives um, have you know a competent medical care, compassionate care. You know, that's really what it's about. Um, and I think that is our hope that that's the case. And we feel that that is the case because they do end up coming back to us. They come back to us for, you know, whether it's for medical purposes or for material assistance, they'll bring their babies back and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to see baby for the first time. And, you know, it's just, it's wonderful. The, I think the additional supports and just the, the warmth that we're looking to provide the hope um, to have women really feel support and love. You know, a lot of times there is a lot of confusion, you know, with an unplanned pregnancy, confusion, fear, anxiety, doubt, all these things. But to really provide, you know, a listening ear, someone that can be there, like I said, even if it's just to, to listen to what's going on, not necessarily say anything, but just listen and provide that additional touch, um, you know, I feel like is really makes an impact because then what we really want is for our patients or clients to really trust us that we ought, do have you know their best interest at heart um, in terms of you know giving them the appropriate medical care um, you know uh, and, um, and and really giving them a sense of security um, and that's what we're we're here to do um, for that so and I think that's something that you know we've heard. Um, been said about pregnancy centers um, that you know there's unlicensed medical professionals um, conducting these you know ultrasound examinations or you know giving out uh, uh, providing care um, but that's just not the case I'm a registered nurse I have a bachelor's degree in nursing and you know I'm under the direct supervision of a medical director who's an MD you know so this these are licensed professionals um, providing care to patients um, and really providing evidence-based research and practice um, into uh, you know the conversation and discussion the ultrasound is one of those machines that is just it's it had such an incredible impact on our patients, um, on our clients, um, you know, and that's why we invest so much on in this medical suite is because this is where patients or clients will feel comfortable, will see their baby for the first time, will see the heartbeat for the first time and the emotions that people have when they see that you know that baby that heartbeat it's just it's it, it's such a, a great feeling um, of just life and so um, you know and I that's why it's just one of those vital aspects of the organization is to show that initial image um, to show you know here's your uterus there's the gestational sac there's the cervix there's baby there's baby's heart there's the yolk sac you know so pointing out all these things again educating women about their bodies um, and seeing that initial image of, um, of baby in the womb. We also do uh, uh, pre and post abortion counseling. So we kind of talk um, a little bit more about, you know, again, um, the reasons behind wanting, you know, to, to go through with an abortion. Or again, if somebody has already had an abortion, you know, really trying to offer support and love. Um, and there are some great programs too out there. Rachel's Vineyard is fantastic um, with post abortion. And so, um, you know, those are some of the resources we do um, provide.
Um, and again, material assistance. So at this time, you know, we do um, diapers, uh, clothing, um, really just anything to do with babies. <laughs> um, and up until the age at this time, uh, 36 months, um, but I believe we are extending that, um, uh, you know, um, throughout or at the end of the year, I believe. Um, so, and that's great, you know, and another thing is too, is we are looking for a family care specialist, an advocate, a client advocate, um, to kind of join our team um, and really help with that, um, with the adoption, you know, offering those other alternatives um, for, for, for patients, for clients, um, and providing those additional resources that, um, you know, they can focus on and, and really get to, to, you know, to, to show the support that we really want to convey. We always are um, looking for donations from our material assistants. Um, obviously, monetary donations are always accepted just to kind of keep our medical suite um, looking so fabulous. <laughs> um, but really, I think the most important thing is, is, is to know what services we provide um, and the education part. You know, I mean, donations are great and we are always, they're always welcome, but I really feel like the community can really talk about what we do to their you know, uh, uh, to, to their uh, the individuals, you know, near them. So whether it's like at an organization talking to, you know, a group of people or their family, their friends, because um, that's a lot of times is how people hear about us is through a friend of a friend or, you know, my brother, my sister. Um, and so I think that's really one way the community can help is by really getting our message across and what we're here to do and to provide what services we provide. Um, and I think that can really help also curb that misinformation that's out there about pregnancy centers.